Hi everyone. If you could duplicate your watermelon harvest, why wouldn't you? Today I'm going to show you how to do just that by hand pollinating your watermelon flowers so you get a lot more harvest off your plants. And I'm also going to be announcing at the end of the video how you can win a fall garden kit. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Watermelon is one of my very favorite things to grow in the summertime. It just kind of screams summer. It's a delicious fruit, very easy to grow. Here I have a sugar baby watermelon, which is a more compact variety, growing in a 15 gallon smart pots. It's done really well through the heat. The smart pots aerated fabric has done a great job of keeping the plant cool. And I do have a few watermelon starting to develop on the vine, but I definitely want a lot more. Now you might be wondering, why would you hand pollinate? Well, sometimes you might not have enough bees in your garden or they're just not doing the work for you super easy to hand pollinate so you get a lot more fruit out of your plants. But the first thing you need to do is know the difference between a male flower and a female flower because it takes both of those to hand pollinate so you get more fruit. Let's start with a female flower. The female flower has a little tiny watermelon attached to it. So here we have an open flower and a teeny tiny watermelon of fruit attached to it and then that is attached to the stem. Now you want to choose a female flower that is open. There's lots of other little baby watermelons on this plant, such as these right here. But see how the female flower is kind of drying up there at the end? That indicates that this watermelon has been pollinated and is starting to grow. So choose a female flower like this one that is open, has a baby watermelon attached to it, and that's the one we're gonna hand pollinate with the male flower. Now the male flower is right over here on the plant, and in contrast to the female flower, it's just attached to the plant by a stem. No little tiny watermelon underneath, so you need both types of flowers in order to hand pollinate. Step one is identifying your male and female flowers. Now that you got that down, step two is to hand pollinate in the morning when the flowers are fully open. And let me show you what I mean here. We've got several open flowers here on this plant. The male flower I just showed you, there's a couple more open flowers over here, but some of the flowers are not quite open yet. We're filming this about 7.30 in the morning, but generally if you wait just a little bit, the flowers will open, but definitely in the early morning as the flowers close up in the heat of the day. Step three is to gather your hand pollinating tool. Now you don't need too much for this. I like to use a small makeup brush or a cotton swab. Doesn't really matter which one you use, but they do need to be completely dry, very important. Step four is the pollination process, and it really couldn't be easier to get more watermelon on your plants. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna pick the male flower. So here's the open male flower that I showed you earlier. We're just gonna pinch it off. And we're gonna peel back the petals so that we can see the inside of the male flower. We have good access to it. And then I'm going to take my pollination tool, which here I'm going to use my small little brush, and I'm going to transfer some pollen from the flower onto my brush. There's some yellow pollen on the brush. Now that I have some pollen from the male flower on my brush, I'm going to transfer that pollen to the female flower. So here we're going to come over to our female flower that is open. Remember the female flower is the one with the little tiny watermelon underneath it. And it needs to be pollinated properly in order for this fruit to grow into a full size sugar baby watermelon. So we're going to take a look at the female flower here that's open and dab some of that pollen onto the middle very gently. And that's it, that's how easy the hand pollination process is. Now, just to ensure that this little baby watermelon does grow and did get pollinated, you may wanna do it a couple of days in a row, or we could even grab another male flower right now and transfer just a little bit more pollen. And then keep an eye on this baby watermelon here. Once it does start to, once the flower starts to dry up and this little tiny watermelon starts to grow, you'll know that your hand pollination process has been successful. So let me show you a couple little baby watermelon up here that have been pollinated. See how that little flower is starting to dry up? This watermelon is growing and will turn into a full size sugar baby watermelon, which are about five pounds or so. They're super delicious fruit. 
Now I have 10 or 15 beautifully shaped watermelon all up and down this plant. But you might have seen at some point the funny looking misshapen watermelon on your plants. I've had those too. Those are a result of poor pollination. So not only can hand pollinating help you duplicate your harvest, but can also help you have really nice looking high quality fruit on your plant. Now that you know how to hand pollinate your watermelons, you can duplicate your harvest this summer. Fall gardening is just around the corner and you want to get your fall garden started now. So here's for the giveaway. We're teaming up with Smart Pots for a full garden kit giveaway. One winner will receive the August Grow Your Groceries with Cali Kim subscription box, fall garden seeds, containers, soil, plant tags, and the Rue Garden kneeling pad is inside that. So you can save your knees while gardening. And you're also going to receive some Smart Pots. You can get these seeds transplanted out in the garden and get harvest before the winter hits. You'll also receive the 15 gallon Smart Pots with handles, as well as the three foot Little Shorty raised bed. You have a full garden kit with this giveaway, so you can get your fall garden planted from seed to harvest. So here's how to enter. All you have to do is make a comment on this video, it's open to US residents, and we'll be doing a drawing live on our Monday YouTube live stream this coming Monday, August 14th at noon Pacific time. All the resources to help you get your fall garden started are over at CaliKimGardenHome.com. Either grab your August Grow Your Groceries with CaliKim subscription box, put your fall garden seeds in here, $8 off with the code FALLVEGGIES, or grab a fall garden seed collection. My seed collections, books, and CaliKim Smart Pots are 30% off this week with the code HAPPYFALL. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.